What's up, YouTube? So, we are still here at Mike's Fabrication Refinishing, LLC. Um, still working on Bella, trying to get her ready for the Topless and the Smokies event. Um, you guys have seen me review some of the products from Molly Platform Solutions. Well, I've got a cool product today. Um, what makes it cool is that we are getting the first ones. So this is gonna. This is a product. It's all aluminum, super lightweight, um, from Molly Platform Solutions. The owner contacted us after we did a few reviews. We didn't tell him we were gonna do the reviews. We ordered the products, had them sent to us, and then did the reviews. And he was happy with them. So he said, "Hey, would you guys like to try? I'm building some knuckle light mounts." So. He wanted to know if we were interested in putting those on Bella. Kim loves lights. Are you kidding? So, of course, we'll go try these. So, these are going to be the Molly Platform Solutions aluminum light pod mounts. So, when she turns her tires or turns her wheels, the lights are going to go where the wheels go. This could be cool for the trail. Stay tuned. guys I got the Molly platform solutions uh, I don't know what they're actually gonna be called yet I don't know if they're on the website or not but they should be by the time I post this video uh, these things are gonna be relatively inexpensive they're very very lightweight they're powder coated nicely just like everything that I've ever received from Molly platform solutions so these will you'll, you'll be able to mount a light I think right there maybe I'm not sure. We'll have to get under there and we're going to try to do this as a tutorial. So I'm going to try to record everything that, that Mike does um, to help folks out. I'm sure there's going to be instructions on the website. But these things right off the bat, they're cut beautifully. Um, there's no sharp edges at all. I love that he always puts the MPS on there for Molly Platform Solutions. So here's what we're going to mount on them. We wanted some amber lights because on the trail, we've uh, ran into a lot of situations that are very, very dusty and uh, or foggy, and the amber light cuts through that so much better. Now, because I didn't know what kind of beating these things were gonna take and didn't know if we were gonna like them, I just went on Amazon and I bought some cheapos for the time being. If we like them, I plan on probably switching them out to a um, Baja Designs or Rigid or something like that. But for right now, we're just gonna run these cheapos from Amazon. Um, actually, in the box, all they came with was the light and the mounts. I think they were about 49 bucks. And the only branding on the box is Swatow Industries. So I'll leave the link, of course, in the bottom. Uh, but we didn't wanna spend a whole lot until we knew how cool this was gonna be. So we're gonna hook these up tonight and uh, Stay tuned. And again, these are just some $40 lights, but look, I mean, it's some good thick wire. Yep. I mean, who knows? It could be great. It could be a permanent addition. But I do want to point out, this is the light version of the Molly Platform uh, spindle light mount. Um, I think there's also going to be a heavier steel version if you want one. This one right now, it is on his website already. It's 45 bucks. So I don't think that's too bad. Can't complain about that. And they're coated. And they're coated. And he always coats his stuff really nice. And there's not any issues. And again, none of the metal is sharp. It's all rounded off. So good job, Molly Platform Solutions. They're at a high point, Mike. They were. Their company's at a high point. So they're pretty Sweet. close to us. All right, guys. I'm not gonna bore you with taking a wheel off, but we've got the axle on jack stands. And we're removing the front wheel. So I'll see you back in a minute. 
Damn, that's a lot of, a lot of caked on mud. Much better angle, Mike. Thanks. Yeah. You're making me a cinematographer. All right. Good to be true. So it's really just two bolts to take this to put this thing on. Yeah. If you take this other third one out right up here, the wheel bearing comes out. After you take the center nut off. I think we don't want to do that. Now keep playing with you real before long. We already placed the rear ones. <clears throat> and now it's got a weird squeak. squeak. Now that we replaced them, so mm -hmm. wonder if they did something. Probably a, All right. A so break. how's this gonna go in, Mike? We're gonna slide it on in. Slide it in. And then we're gonna twist it. So you kind of put it in sideways. Bend that bracket up just a little. Mm. Ah, we're there. That is, and it gets nice and snug. Look at that, guys. So once that ABS line is put back through its little relocator, that's nice and up out of the way. I think uh, I was worried about those square lights being too big, but I think we'll have plenty of room. Well, I don't want to say that yet, right? It's, it's possible. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say it yet. There we go. Now I can see it. Perfect. And then it's going to run through that other one. So we saved these for last because we thought they were going to be the most difficult. And they're actually, uh, those go on pretty quick. I think the torque specs for these bolts are for, what are they, around 55 pounds, 75 pounds. pounds yeah. So you definitely want to make sure you get those bolts torqued back to the factory specs. Short strokes can get it done, Mike. Yes, sir. A four thousand of them. <laughs> Just give some of those other guys hope. You can get there with small strokes. Even with a bend in it. Even with a bend in it, especially if it's to the left. They seem to like that. But, at least in my experience. <laughs> I'm sorry, Molly Platform Solutions. I can't do a review without some kind of sexual comment. You got to have something that everybody can relate to. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't love? I don't know. See, I'm not gonna. <laughs> don't get me started, Mike. Don't add. See, see, Kim keeps me under control. Mike's just like, do it, say it, do it. So that's pretty awesome. That just mounts so beautifully there. It kind of looks like it was a factory part. Nice. Molly Platform Solution for the win. So Mike just brought out his gazillion dollar electronic snap-on torque wrench um, do you actually set it to the number you want and it beeps when it's done beeps and vibrates holy shit see that i went amazing. i went four pounds over so it turned the light red ah so are you gonna have to back off now no it, with it closer here it'll be fine like that's the big deal like with motor parts like head gotcha. gaskets and such so it even turned red 
Yeah. That is awesome, dude. You know, and when he told me about the price of this thing, I was like, how can you, how is that justified? And now I see. Yeah, if I was doing this shit all day, every day, that would be the bee's knees. And it's flex head. Not many of them are flex head. They're in the town anyway. Ooh, you got it right in the green that time. 76.6, guys. Snap on your welcome. If you want to sponsor us, I'd be glad to take some wrenches. All right, so it is mounted. Now, I think he's going to mount a light. I'll drop a light and see how it looks for a slide of wheel back up. Huh? Yeah, and see, before we wire it all up, Yeah. see if the wheel goes on. Take, we'll put the ABS wires back in place. So it doesn't look like it affected that at all. Nah, works right around. Nice. It's a pretty nice little piece right there. Very simple piece. A bit effective, it looks like. Yeah. I'm just hoping that don't hit the wheel. That looks pretty fucking close. You like to put some 24s on this thing to clean nope, your wheels, man. Not a, not a chance. You like turning no mall crawl. That's, that's one thing I'm gonna put my foot down. If Kim ever wants to go bigger than 17, we're just gonna we're just gonna divorce. We'll divorce. Yeah. So are you gonna let her hear this video so yep. she knows? Okay. Yeah. If she ever wants out, that's all she needs to do. Try to put something over a 17 on the Jeep. I saw one the other day that must have had 24s or 26s with a tire about that big on it. Yeah, must. boy, that's going off road. That thing right there wouldn't make it over a fucking curb. Might as well Carolina squat that shit. All right. So, and you want to try to? I guess it keep it straight. Well, I don't know that we're going to be able to turn it straight because of the wheel. It's probably gotcha. going to have to kind of face in because they're kind of large. All right. But we'll see. I'm I went to... too big. I went too big, YouTube. Yeah, I, I went too big. big. All right, YouTube. So my, uh, my lights were too big, and they're big and square. So Mike had these things laying in a dusty-ass box um, probably since 1998. But, um, yeah. Just for shits and giggles, because we want them, we're going to hook them up and uh, see if we can get the small ones to work. All right, YouTube, I know you're tired of watching us mount lights, but Mike didn't realize that he had some of these. Hey, Mike, yeah. I think these are two different lights. No, they're not. They got the square one on the side. Okay. All right. He didn't realize that he had another set of lights on a shelf, and these look a little more substantial. Um, than the others. I feel like the others were gonna break before we even got out of the driveway. So we're gonna try to mount these up and see how they do. So you're about to watch the third set of lights be mounted. We're giving you an education here, YouTube. All right, YouTube, we've got the light mounted and Mike, you wanna see if the tire and wheel fits? Look, I know he's, he's loving putting this thing up like, what, 16 times now, Mike? Oh yeah. Yeah, at least they're a little 35, so. Yeah, you know. Good and small. That's all right, Mike. We're going to 37s, buddy. That's a, that's we'll get him here. All right. As, oh, it hit a little bit, but... As long as you don't show up with some 40s or 46s, we'll be fine. That's a took, negative. It took three fucking people to put them on the top. Right? Yeah, we'll, we'll never go over 40s. Well, it hit when you put it on, but I think... Yeah, it's clear. Um, I think it's clearing. Yeah. The only, the only thing is it probably needs to come up a little bit because it's aimed at the ground for sure. There we go. And the cool thing, guys, is these are the new ones that he's making, and he's making them out of aluminum. So you do have a little bit of play. You can bend it, I mean, adjust it yeah. uh, to fit. But hopefully when she gets the new wheels, the offset will be a little better too. They'll put a bigger light on it. No. So what we're doing, guys, if you look at Mike's big ass box of stinger wire um we're running some shitty little china piddly lights in there right now but in the future i'm going to be switching those back out to a much more high power amber so instead of running some tiny wire he's going ahead and running heavy gauge what is this what gauge is this 14 gauge, 14 gauge stinger wire just because we know that we're probably going to put some stronger lights on in the future that's just that's just kind, the kind of guy mike is Thinking ahead, Mike. Yes, so what do you think? Yeah, I think it's 
what he's doing now is connecting the wires. Then he's gonna solder, because he does shit right. Then he's gonna heat shrink. I curse a lot on my channel, I'm sorry. All right, guys, we got the uh, lights mounted up on both sides. And so now Mike is stripping some wires so that we can hook them into our S-Pod. Those of you that haven't seen the inside of an S-Pod, that's what it looks like. Everything's all nice and clean. Oh, that's the porridge. Boom. I could probably flip the switch now and uh, see if they come on, couldn't I? Yep. All right, YouTube, I'm gonna go do that. some light output on those. Hopefully 4,000 lumens what they're rated for. Yeah, and that actually still puts out quite a bit of light. I was worried that with the tire there, with it being halfway behind the tire, that it wouldn't put out a whole lot. But um, once I get in the yard, I'll show you how it lights up. Yeah. Hey guys, I just want to do, uh, do a quick video to show how the knuckle lights work at night. So baby, go ahead and flip the knuckle lights on. Boom. So we're using a small, cheap light right now. We're gonna order some uh, Baja designs, but I just want you to see, go ahead and drive down that way, babe. So watch this light turn with her wheels. That's so freaking cool. Yeah, that's gonna be so awesome. Just kind of swing your wheel back and forth, babe. Yeah, look at that so super cool it's such a neat thing to see the light going where your wheels are going so definitely 45 bucks guys that's all these things cost they're powder coated beautifully um, super cool maybe I just like toys and gadgets but look at that super cool definitely gonna help on the trail um, especially if you did some better quality light. The lights we're running right now are $20 a piece. All right, babe. So guys, the Molly Platform Solutions knuckle light mounts or spindle light mounts, whatever you want to call them, they are super, super cool. You can see that light beam now where her wheels are turned a little bit. Um, yeah, look at that going up the hill. How cool. This is really good right here, babe. Yeah, so she's not even moving, guys. This is just her turning the wheels. Man, so freaking cool. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Go check out the Molly Platform Solution Spindle Light Brackets. Um, I'll post a link below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, all that other good shit. And in the meantime, hey, baby, what is it? Peace out. Uh, peace How the out. fuck do you not get that? Jeez. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys.